ain't enough. Come on. Why? Where are we going? We're going to clean up on some Japs. You talk like it was a General MacArthur. But down in Japan, that general will fight him to a standstill. Yeah, you're not kidding so long as he's got help. He'll have plenty of help because we're joining the army. Oh, no, not me. I personally like the Navy. My old man used to be water boy for Corporal Dodger. Say, listen, how are we going to join the army? None of us are old enough. Just because you can't tell a little white lie is no reason why the rest of us can't. Borrow your father's registration. Look, I, I, I love you like you were my own what? son. But All right, report at that address. We want to knock off about a million Japs. Who's we? We is us, six of us. You mean you want to enlist? Yeah, that's a gentle idea. We want to learn Yokohama to yodel the Star Spangled Banner. How old are you, son? 21. How old are the rest of you boys? 21. 21. You'll have to have proof of your age. Proof? Feel these bristles. And I just shaved this morning, too. Yeah, honest, you got to believe us. We want to fight. The Japs don't ask you how old you are when he starts dropping those bombs on you. The orders is orders. Tell that to the Marines. Okay, but you'll be sorry, kid. Opportunity only knocks once. I got a connection with the Boy Scouts. I'll fix you. Wait a while your top button is loose. One ninety-two and a half. I lost four pounds. Oh, that's bad, man. Hmm, two forty-seven. Hmm, good where are your birth certificates? Oh, they got burnt in a very severe fire. Yeah, but we admit we're 21. We got muscles and uh, red... Well, you've got the right spirit, fellas, but I'm afraid you're too young to enlist. Can't say we didn't try. Well, what are you in this boy? So long, Cap. Doesn't anybody want us? Oh. Have a cigar, Admiral. Why, thanks. Hey, show us a couple of uniforms, will you? What do you kids want? We want to join the Navy. You want to join the Navy? What for? You want to share the ocean with Japan. You want to do what? You want to share the ocean with Japan. What do you mean with Japan? We'll take the top and give them the bottom. Oh. I don't feel so good. I'm getting seasick already. Funny. Me too. What's the matter with you guys? Did you ever smoke a cigar before? <coughs> Who's rocking this office? Come on out, not here. Come on out. Save a voice for me, will you, Admiral? We'll be back in a few minutes, or maybe a few days. Out. More lines here. Lights on, this is my cigar. Hold up. Clear. You filthy swine. Be hold up. Be careful, the feel, What do you know about that? Happy little chaps, those Japs. I got a good mind to report him to the alien department. I wonder what he ran Heinbach out of the store for. I don't know. He's a good American citizen. What are we, mice or men? Let's see. Yeah! Oh, gee, I'm sorry, Spoon. All my aim was bad. You're blind as a bat. For a fearless front in the face of danger. Man, that's a man that went down my rear. Yeah. Well, well, hey, you don't get a man. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, What's the idea of chasing a good American Mike Heinbach out of your store? Heinbach, you're no good American. He's not, huh? I suppose you're a sweet-smelling lotus blossom, is that it? You get out. Well, get out. We'll tear you up in a little pieces and feed you to Chinaman for chop suey. Or maybe he's too yellow to make good chop suey. Look out! Oh, now, wait a minute. Don't run to the nearest man! Hey, go, 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 see him. Don't go, 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 Boy, the Battle of Bull Run had nothing on that. I told from Tokyo he can't do that to me. I'll murder him. Yeah, he sneaked up on us. Sure, lead on, General. Hey, wait a minute. We shouldn't do nothing like that. We don't belong to the Army or the Navy or nothing. It's open season on Jack. Yeah, but he's only one of them. Maybe we can get a bunch of them. Yeah, about 50 million of them. That's our dish. Sure, yeah. we got to remember mm -hmm. Pearl Harbor. Anything uh -oh. wrong, boys? Oh, hi, Pops. No, nothing at all. We was just practicing war games. Any aircraft. Yeah, we're having a scavenger hunt. Everybody's got to bring something useless to the party. I'm bringing him. 
All right, only put that stuff back where you got it. That's vitamins for victory. Come on, put it back. Okay, but we was just trying to be patriotic. And you, Danny, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. With your brother Phil in the service making the whole neighborhood proud of him. You ought to know better than this. I told him we shouldn't. Oh, only kidding. <laughs> Hiya, Nora, honey. Why, Phil, you're, you're not in uniform. Well, what's the difference? This isn't a uniform makes the man. No, but you should be proud to wear it. Oh, now, look, don't tell me you're like the rest of the gals in love with a uniform. Oh, Phil, you know better than that. Ah. Ease away, sailor. There's a storm coming. Hiya, Danny. Hiya, Hi, Phil. Oh, oh, hey. Hey. Hey, how come you're here? I thought you were at Annapolis. Well, you never can tell what I'm going to do. You seem to do all right with the girls. Why, uh... Hey, Danny, what's up? These hoodlums trying to lead you into trouble? Sure, we just had your darn little brother to a burlesque show. Don't worry, our skirts are clean. Yeah, clean our skirts, too. Yeah. Come on, we gotta have a conference. Hey, I gotta take a lesson. I'll see you later, Phil. Hey, Danny, tell Mom I'll see you tonight, but it may be late. Okay. Well, aren't you excited? Oh, honey, I'm sorry I can't. I've got a very important matter I've gotta take care of. But I'm coming back to take you out tonight, so be prepared. It's a date. I'm ready, Professor. You are? Take it on two. Uh, uh, pardon me, pardon me, just a minute. Skip the page. Take it on two. What's he learning? Barnyard imitations? He should learn boogie woogie if you ask me. Boy, that is sure corn. He should learn to play a harp. A harp, he should just quit. Hours and hours, huh? Yeah, hours and hours. <laughs> Professor, your shoe, your shoe. That's your shoe. It's your shoe. Oh, yeah, it's my shoe. What's the professor? What's the professor? Professor, your fingers cool. Your fingers cool. Yeah, I'm stuck. A little nervous tonight. Should I change my name to Misha? We wouldn't miss you if you did. Who said that? Who said that? Professor, yes. would you play for me? Come on, Professor, play for me. I'll choose you who plays. Come on, I'll choose you. No, 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 no. Come on, I'll choose you. I'll choose you. Come on, once. Just once. Choose me once. Well, don't tell anybody. You win. the other lesson, will you? The good lesson. Where's that? That's the most murderous interpretation of music I ever heard. Arguing. They won't let us enlist, and that's that. Yeah, and I have my mind made up to pick off a million Japs. We can still take care of Kino. <laughs> I don't know. That thing he pulled out of that cane was no pocket knife. We'll attack him on his flank. Flank? That means you come up by his rear. That's right. That's what I said. Yeah, surprise attack. It's still lit, Jeff. You really do? Yeah. 
Say, you guys sure this is Keno's store? Sure. Can't you smell the cherry scent? The only thing I ever did with a scent was spend it. All in one place? Yeah. Made in Japan. No kidding. Wow! Hey, fellas! Fellas! Oh. Hey, he don't look like he's asleep. Maybe he fainted. Hey, you know. He's been stabbed. Mom, how many told me to stop playing with you, white boy? Hey, let's get out of here. We'll be playing for it. Hey, Pop Stevens, let me off. There's a guy stuck himself with his own stabbing knife. I don't get it. No, we'll all get it and get plenty if anybody finds out we were there tonight. Yeah, it was as dark as a top of Scruno's head. That old lady ain't got second sight. What are you guys worrying about? Who's worrying? But I'd sure feel a lot better if I knew Pop Stevens didn't see us. Yeah, if anybody's got second sight, he has. Eh, the only thing that cop ever discovered was his lunchbox, and somebody once stole that. Yeah, a guy can be locked up for that. Boys, do I need glasses? Oh, oh. Hello, Pop. Uh, good evening, Mrs. Stevens. Sorry to intrude, boys, but I'm taking you over to the station. What for? We didn't do nothing. We've been here all evening. Yeah, except when you were in Kino's store. Well, uh, you got a supanina for our rest? Well, I'm not exactly arresting you. I just want to talk to you. Come on. Oh, it's different. Bring your cards, boys. Hey, uh, what's going on? We'll be over to the door, will you? I don't need to help you. I don't feel like that. I believe us. Hey, he wouldn't even believe Ripley. All right, maybe you didn't kill him, but I'll find out. Murphy, leave him locked in here for a while. Way outside in the hall. Yes, sir. I'm sweating already. Hot water in a cooler? No, but we's in the cooler. And hot water, too. Hey, fellas. No kidding, we're in an awful jam. They got enough evidence pointing towards us to fry us, but good. I wonder will we smell anything like fried chicken. You know, I heard sometimes they sweat guys into saying things they never did. Eh, yeah, that's only in books. I hope. Got mighty thick bars on these windows. Stand by. Good night. Radio Tokyo. Signing off. I'm out of hole. Hello, Phil. Hi, Joe. Hello, Ted Joe. Hello, Phil. Tokyo just announced the complete destruction of Los San Francisco, Detroit, and Berlin. I mean, Boston. And the American press is afraid to release it. Democracies, they won't be here much longer. Fritz tells me you are no longer in the service. But you have been dishonored. Skip it. Where do we go to work? Soon. But we must proceed cautiously. Okay, okay, but how about some dough? Sure. Consider this a slight advance. There will be more, much more, when we have accomplished our mission. Ah, well, this is more like it. Dough, real dough. Hey, get a load of this. Article 5. Criminal proceedings, condemnation of property. Get away Check. there a minute. No person shall be held to answer for a capital or otherwise infamous crime unless on a presentment or indictment of a grand jury. Well, I guess we got our rights, huh? Sure, according to that, they can't even hold us here. Well, we're American citizens. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Let's cut out of here. Hey, Murphy! Over there! Come on, hurry up. Yeah. Quiet, quiet! What's the beef? Did you ever read the Bill of Rights? Certainly. Know it by heart. Get out of my way, O'Hara. I'm leaving. Get Let's back. Go. Get back. I'll spank every one of you. What's the matter, boys? Do you know you're going to have a corpse to elect us to keep us here? He's not going to make a corpse out of me. That's right, Mr. Stevens. We just read the Bill of Rights, and according to that, you have no right to hold us. You're right, Danny. The police have no legal right to hold you. Are you kidding? My time's valuable. You boys are lucky. You're citizens of the United States, and you're entitled to all the protection under that Bill of Rights. That's why the police are turning you free, because I don't think we have sufficient evidence to indict you. You mean I can go? You can go. Who? Get down our place sometime. We'll have a nice third-degree picnic. Oh, just a minute. 
I also want to point out that under that Bill of Rights, you were wrong in taking the law in your own hands, trying to punish Kano. Yeah, but he was a Jap. For your information, he was not a Jap. He was Chinese. Chinese? Who's that? How do you know? We really pulled a boner. And a good one. Well, thanks for telling us. Chinese? Gosh, thanks. I thought you might want to see this. Your father was murdered. That's no use crying over spilt milk. We made a mistake, that's all. Ah, we're a bunch of saps. Well, let's quit being saps. Let's try to do something useful for a change. Yeah, you know, we ought to pay for... Anybody got any dough? Not me. Hey, you got some, ain't you, Glimpy? I got open a bank account. Moolah! Moolah! Enough to frame. Like you hang your heart in your sleeve? Easy now. <laughs> Where are we going? Heaven, Ooh. movie, dinner at Sarno's, and I know a new jive palace. Ooh, that sounds exciting. When do you have to report for duty? Oh, any time. Well, that sounds awfully in depth. And all of it is. Oh. We'll have dinner at the automat. Now, look, Nora, I'm sorry, but we're going to have a porterhouse steak at Sarno's. Defense stamps and the automat. Ah, Sarno's. It's defense stamps and the automat. Ah, Sarno's. The automat. Ah, Sarno's. Nora, where might you be going? Hiya, Pop. Phil and I are going to make a night of it. He has a furlough. Furlough. He's got a nerve if he told you that. Oh, now, wait a minute, Pop. Anything i got to tell Nora is my own business. I had a feeling there was something wrong. You might as well tell me, Phil. Well, there's plenty of time to talk later. Come on, let's go. Wait a minute. You're getting out right now. Uh, Nora, don't pay any attention to that. You know, newspapers, uh, how they get things mixed up. Who are you about? Figure it any way you want, kid. Come on, give me the lowdown. Aren't you in the Navy? No, I'm not, and I'm glad I'm out of it. Well, what do you know? So Phil turned out to be a Sabbath sewer. Well, That's a lie. Hold it. You know, Glumpy's got to have his little choke. Yeah, I'll choke him right in the puss if he ever makes a crack like that again. Feel sorry for Come on, Nora, I'm sorry I had to blast Phil like that. What in the world has come over him? What would make him do a thing like that? You got me. It's just one of those things you can't explain. Forget him. Don't worry. I will. That That will be three dollars. Only three dollars for all that stuff? Sure. Okay, we'll take it. How would you like a nice strat of a serious violin? Well, I got to see it first. Oh, Martin, you got enough stuff with taking my career away. Ah, uh, you act like a mother with an only child. Oh, and next week I was going to play Carnegie Hall. Look at that piece of mahogany. How do you like that? It works. How much? I give you four dollars. Four dollars? Sure. Ain't you got no compassion for the human race? We're working for a great cause. Come on, make it ten bucks. Be a nice guy. Well, I give you four dollars and fifty cents, and that's all. So, that's enough. Let's go. Come on, grease my palm. You kids are getting a good bargain. Oh, yeah, yeah. You give bargains like a cow gives bock beer. Hey, Heinbach, what's that chap doing in the back room? Chap in the back room? You're making a mistake. You are seeing things. Maybe. I'm sorry. Come on. Well, so long, Santa Claus. Don't give nothing away. Hey, do cows give box for you? They don't know what the thing is strictly arbitrary. Hey, what's the monkey stuff for? I think my eyes are going screwed. I'm sure... No, I don't think so. Those kids saw you. It is dangerous for you to be coming here. You must be more careful next time. But fuck... Go ahead, Monks. You're the speech maker. Good morning, Mrs. Keno. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Just brought the fellas over to tell you how sorry we are about what happened to your husband. Yeah. It cost three bucks. Look what you've done. 
Can't you ever learn no ethics? Oh, can I help it if I'm touched? I oh, don't cry, Mrs. Kino. All right. Me no feel bad now. We got some money here. Thought maybe we could pay for some of those things we broke. No, no, I no take. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you gotta take it. We feel as though we owe it to your husband. He was a swell guy. Maybe you know who killed my husband, yes? Only wish we knew, Mrs. Kino. Yeah, the police will find out. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. It was two dollars. Will you give me a receipt, please? I saw in a back room at Heinbox. All right, I'll give you change. Did you see that? Thank you. I just want to shake hands with an honest man. Thank you. You're a man after my own heart. Good day, gentlemen. Yeah. Jeff, huh? Do you know him? No, I've never seen him before. It's a funny thing. Well, come on, fellas. We've got to mosey along. Take it easy, Mrs. Kino. We'll see you later. Goodbye, Goodbye. Mrs. Kino. Goodbye, Mr. Kino. Goodbye. Yes, down in the back room, in the music box. Good. Everything is going just as we planned. We have nothing to worry about. There's much to worry about. Why, Mrs. Kino, you appreciated them flowers. That yeah, was a beautiful yeah, gesture. Yeah. No, it almost, it almost broke did. my heart. Get up, really my chair. good. Thank you, Fat I'll pay you in the morning. Yeah. Hey, you know, I've been wondering why that chap stole Kino's pen out of his pocket. What chap stole what pen? <laughs> For a souvenir. Yeah, you give me a pen. All right, we need a pen anyway. Use it to take the minutes of the meeting. Friday the 13th, we tried to drown O'Leary's cat. That's broke. Hey, but there's something in here. Hey, it's gold. A ah, piece of paper. Give me that blockhead. What is it? It ain't nothing. It's just a blank piece of paper. Uh, let me see it. The right now. What are you talking about? You put it in coffee or milk. Who ever heard of dunking a piece of paper? Hey, let me see that piece of paper. Yeah. Who's got a match? What are you going to do, find it? What do you think I am, an arsonist? It's a little trick I learned in college one time. Correspondence course. Yeah? Yeah, you go to college, really? When'd you learn how to write? Pig Latin. Maybe that's why the chap was so anxious to get a hold of it. Maybe that's why he paid that two bucks, just as a stall. Figuring comes awful slow to some guys. Keep on trying. I think that guy's a five car. That's the smartest thing you've said yet. Boys, we're gonna pay our friend show. Paying you for. Yeah, you're a Chinaman. We love Chinamans. You're our friend. Sure. You fellas always make me lots of trouble. No, that's all over with. We're both on the same side. Hey, Charlie, I was going to get a Frenchman. So long, Charlie. If anybody bothers you, just let us know. We'll help you out. Come on, guys. Hey, look, I better go in alone. All that Suey might get scared. Really, do. Right. Good morning, Matt Suey. How's your health? Very good. I told you your honor for health is excellent, young man. My health is slowly depreciating, and I'm very dishonorable. But I want to thank my venerable forefathers that I'm able and well to walk into your worthy tea shop on this sunny day. How am I doing? You get by. What's up to your purchase leave? Well, there's nothing up my sleeve, but I got a lot on my mind. You'd like you to interpret for me. Of course, if I can. Read that. Let me see it closer. Uh-uh. No ticky, no touchy. Where did you get that? You just mind your business and read it, that's all. Well, are you gonna read it or not? Hey, wait a minute there, shorty. Not so fast. Give me that note. Give me that note. I'll tear your arm off. You know that stealing? With a note on a bottle of blood, a bust in the head. Hey! Hey, what happened? He's done it himself. Why does this always have to happen when we're... I don't know, but I'm cutting out now!
there? What's the idea of crashing in here like this? We gotta talk to you, Mr. Stevens. Well, all right, but make it snappy. What is it? Somebody else murdered? Suicide. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we know. Quiet. Oh, it. It's old man Matsui in a tea shop down by the river. And we didn't do it. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Start at the beginning. If you ask me, it all ties in slick as anything with a big spy ring that's operating around here. Oh, you think so? I'm sure of it. Hey, Mark, tell about that job. I saw Will you shut mind. your big mud? Uh, first of all, we went to Heinbach, see? Don't take it so hard, Joe. Hey, Joe, I... What's the matter? Anything wrong? My father just committed Harry Carey. Oh. What could make him do a thing like that? I don't know. I wish I knew. We'd better start being more careful from here on in. You know, those cops aren't dummies. I'll know how to take care of them. And then, all of a sudden, the old chap pulls out a pig sticker and gets himself the works. Sure he was dead. Dead as our friend Kino, if not dead. No job. By the way, how come everybody took old Kino for a chap when he was Chinese? Well, maybe he was acting as a spy for his country. You guessed it, Danny. I think I'll pay a visit to that tea house. Oh, now he's looking with Kino. Yeah. No, let's go. Could I stay here, maybe? Hey, Phil! Hey, I gotta talk to you. Is he going to a fire or coming from one? No, nah, he's he's like that. He's always rushing someplace. Come on. Is there something I can do for you? Hey, you're not alive. I beg your pardon. I'm very much alive. Were these boys in here a little while ago? I believe they were. You believe we was? I saw you with my own eyes. You stabbed yourself to death. Wait a minute. Did you have any trouble with them? Possible. Nothing serious, though. This boy was just playful. If that was play, give me work the rest of my days. I'm telling you, Poppy was dead as a doornail. So Pop takes his word against Oz. It's a pretty good trick if you can do it. The next time you kids take me on a wild goose chase, I'm going to turn you over my knee and spike you. Every one of you. Well, what do you think of that? It looks mighty wacky to me. Maybe he's done it with mirrors. There's something wrong. Could oh, be. please, fellas, my headache. You were right, Tojo. A policeman came. He didn't suspect? No. My poor honorable father. He felt that I had disgraced him. You go watch the store. All right. I still think we're wasting our time. Just the same, I'm going to take another look. Hey, Shorty, where's Matsui? Oh, he not here. We were just talking to him a few minutes ago. Where'd he go? Oh, Mr. Matsui, go out read a bit. He made a business. Business, huh? There's some mighty funny business going on around here. Ah, forget it, will you, fellas? Who are you? I'm Mr. Matsui's honorable cousin. Oh, uh, yeah? You're Matsui's cousin like I got a hole in my head. Come on, tell us where he went and we'll let you off easy. How should I know? I'm not his keeper. Maybe so, but I think you're lying. You're a very brave young fellow with all your friends here. Yeah, go ahead, step outside, fellas. I want to take care of this. Oh, no, I don't want to fight. No, not unless you got ten to one on your side. Maybe we better go before I lose my temper and beat his head in. Come on, don't forget to keep your rice dry. Something smells. Yeah, and it ain't cherry blossoms. Whatever it is, we're gonna find out. Yes, a lot of J.G., huh? Junior G-Man. Hey, now there's an idea. They won't let us enlist, so maybe we can help out like that. The way I see it, there's a big spy ring operating around here, and we gotta put the finger on it. Hey, fellas, look what I... Well, Glimpy the Grabber. If that's tea in a ditch, it, it might be poison. Look, in the first place, it's not tea. The second place, I didn't steal it, I got out of my ex-violin case. Let me see it. Looks like some kind of sugar. Oh, a sugar hoarder. Let's report him. Don't taste like sugar. It binds. Hey, maybe that's some kind of evidence. Must be. Or else he wouldn't carry it around in my violin case. I think we ought to shadow this place. It's a swell idea. Bruno, you're appointed. Oh, Nix, I might be a junior G, but I'm also an SBB. What is an SBB? A scared black boy. Well, nevertheless, you're appointed, and you're going to stay undercover and guard this place. If anything happens that don't look kosher, you inform us. If anything happens, I'll inform me first. Angry, just disappointed. Oh, Nora. 
But be yourself, Phil. We're grown-ups. All I want to know is, is it true or isn't it? Well, I... I've got some Jap friends, if that's what you're worried about. Paid for it, too. No wonder you insisted on Sarno's to eat. A big shot. Maybe I spent my money on the wrong girl. You're contemptible. All right. Maybe I am a Jap spy. So what? You were kidding about being a spy, weren't you, Phil? Look, Danny, for the lastness. Come on, give me the lowdown. I'll give you a slap on the puss if you don't lay off. By the way, what were you guys doing snooping around Matsui's? What were you doing there? I was buying the old lady some tea. Mom don't drink tea. Well, I, I can buy some tea for myself, can't I? You're lying. Shut up. You're nothing but a two-time and double cross. Look, Danny, I'm sorry. I'll let that be a warning to you. Hey, don't feel bad, kid. If your brother wants to be a stool, you can't do nothing about it. He must have gone nuts. Phil ain't like that. He used to say the Navy was the best job in the world. Yeah, but maybe his new job pays more dough. Take it easy. Oh, hello, boys. Come in. Life, I guess. Say, Nora, there's a little something we want to ask you to do for us. Sure, what is it? We've been doing a little snooping on our own, and we think we got a clue. What's that? It's just a little something that we think might be important. Yeah, we took it to Charlie the Chinaman. He said it was Jap writing. It's too bad my brother isn't here. Did you try to get him at the office? Eh, uh, he don't pay no attention to us. I knew a Jap I used to go to high school with. I'd be glad to get it translated for you. Oh, that's swell. Well, listen now, take good care of this and don't let nobody get it away from you. Yeah. Because you never can tell. And as soon as you find out what it is, just tell Danny and he'll let us know. You bet. Take it easy. Hey, Clint, let's go up to your place and get some chow. You're going to take me to your house for chow. All right, you going to let a little bowl of chow stand between friends? Oh, I'm sorry. Always beef and beef chow. That's a good idea. <laughs> I don't like it. How about some chow? Me and my friends are hungry. Your friends are always hungry. They have homes, haven't they? Certainly, but we're working on a big case and we don't want to break up right now. Come on, will you? All right, there's some stew on the stove. Help yourself. Get some plates and get some nice and food. Looks like some kind of sand, a powder or something. Here's your plate. Help yourself. You oh, want to eat, huh? Hurry up, William. I'm getting hungry. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, give me Take some, will you? Oh. This stuff can wait for a while. I'm going to eat first. Give me that, bud. It's enough for a first try. What's this, bargain or no rooney? You got some bread? Water? Where is everything? How do you wait I'm on the table? Why are you walking from the table? You got sugar, you ain't got no coffee. What's the matter with you? Oh, boy, this, this is, is the best really food in the world. That's that yeah, you ain't got your bread. feeding a lot of heathens. But, Mara, it was an accident. An accident, was it? I think you're working for the dictator. Hey, you're you're hard. Hard.
Where'd you kids get that magnesium? We snitched it from Matsui store. Yeah, that chap must have brought it there from Heinbach's. Heinbach's? Yeah, Muck's all on my violin. Later on, Glippy's looking around and finds that stuff stowed away in his old violin case. Well, that makes Heinbach's the distributing point for the magnesium. Maybe Kino knew that. Maybe that's why he threw Heinbach out of his store. It's possible. Looks like sabotage. See you kids later. So long. Well, that was a swell dinner, Glippy. We'll be back again tomorrow. Oh. Now look, fellas, don't mind my mother. She gets nervous over nothing. We'll bring her some aspirin. Take it easy. So long, Glippy. Hey, fellas, wait for me! She said you can't come back no more! Why, Miss Stevens, this is a pleasant surprise. Hello, Joe. You're looking well and as pretty as ever. Yes, I think this is Japanese writing, and I'd like to have you translate it. Pleasure. It's some sort of a memorandum to buy some goods. Are you sure? I rather thought it was important. What made you think that? Why, I don't know. I, I just had an idea. I, uh, I found it on the street. Just where did you get this? Let go of me. Take your hands off me. She knows too much. We better lock her up. Let go. Let go of me. Let me go. I tell you. Help me. Get me out of here. Help. Get me out of here. Help. Get me out of here. Help. What's written on it? Enough to send us away for a long time. Oh. Well, read it to me. You'll hear about it. Down for double. Down for double. What do you want? Hit me. Don't hit me. Wait a minute. Hit him. Go. Stop. 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 You hit that guy. Hey, 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 fellas, I seen something. I seen something. All right, this ain't no seance meeting. What'd you see? A, a crowd of Japs going into Matsui's store. So what? A lot of Japs go in there to buy tea. Yeah, but these Japs wasn't buying no tea. And I saw him go through a, a, a hole in the wall. And that German boy, uh, a Fritz Heinbach, was with him, too. Fritz Heinbach? Yeah. Well, that adds new intrigacies to the case. like them skibbies want a little privacy. Yeah, maybe we ought to get pop. What do you mean, get pop? We've been doing all right at the sea tech business so far. We ain't gonna quit now. Yeah, how are we gonna get in there? You leave that to me. Pretty tough to me. Yeah, that is high, isn't it? Hey, How are you going to get up there, Danny? I thought the same thing that. at the same time. Oh, hello. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, that's really, that's really oh, tight. Tight. Like, Okay, I'll get you, right you get off his shoulders and see how it fits. Hey, get your foot out of my All right, go up. All right, up. Get up. Go up. Come on. Get up. What are you doing? You guys are getting old. I'm telling you. What's the matter with you guys? What are you doing now? You said you want to make a pyramid. You'll never make it. Yes, you look like a. I thought you looked like a. Give me that. 
Nobody invited me, so I'm going home. Come on. You don't have to be invited. Didn't you ever crash a party? What do you think this is, Borscht? If I don't come back soon, send in a searching party. I'll go get him. We'll go with you. Two for a while. Tie him up quick. Tie his legs. He's out for good. Drag him behind that screen when you get through. Tie that, Huey. Come on, hurry up. Drag get him his behind hand. that screen. Go ahead. I got his Drag hand. him back there. Get him, get him back screen. here. Come on, put him back. Pull him back. Tie that up. 
Maybe they're just a bunch of actors rehearsing a play or something. Nah, I think it's Japanese Halloween. Well, let's take a look at these gowns anyway. It might be. Oh, beautiful piece of goods. Uh, two pair of pants come with these, I wonder? I'm gonna put one on, too. Hey, hey Luno. Yeah? Your uncle. Huh? Your uncle. Uh, boy, what a healthy set of chops uncle has got today, huh? Hey, those fellas is wearing hoods. I wonder where they keep them. There they are right there. Hey, get those hoods. Hurry up. Each one of you put one of these on. We'll become incognito, see? Now we can play trick or treat. Now listen, we can win that place just like we belong, just like we was invited. We sit down, we don't say a word, and maybe we'll find out what's going on. Follow the leader, boys. Wonder where they're going. You'll find out in a minute. Yo, one rising sun that's not gonna rise. Hey, son. Show start. Tell me one o'clock. Oh, girls. Emperor Hirohito. Listen well. If there are any among you who sort of go forward to peril, let them withdraw now. For there will be no turning back later. Only torture, death for traitors. And for weaklings. We must at once strangle a common enemy, this democracy, to assume a rightful. There's an iron box here, I told you. I'll yeah, I'd like to give my haircut with a mowing machine. We will ruin the dance. We have our enemies under our control. Things is really getting complicated. He's in on this too, huh? He's in on everything. He got my violin, didn't he? Before proceeding, I shall permit you to see. An exalted face of our benefactor to us. One who has provided us with invaluable information. Our brother... Hey, that's Phil. We are proud to bow to a man that's valuable on our behalf. You can't do nothing about it now. You will now each take the blood oath of fidelity. I ain't got to Well, I get to him, I'll tell him. I hope it's as easy to get out of this place as it was to get in. I'm beginning to worry. There are spies among us. Everyone, remove his hood. And my mama told me to be in the bed at 9 o'clock. The curfew rang for us when Muggs got the idea of coming here. You've got to get a bad idea once in a while. It's a law of averages. Please don't bear. Not if I see you first. Oh, i How do you want, anyway? Uncle Sam's, you chump. Uh-oh. There goes little Red Riding Hood, a beautiful piece of Harry... You mean Harry Carey? He committed suicide. I don't know how you kids got in here, but I'm sure glad you did. Look, Danny, you try and get out of here and get the police. I'm gonna get Nora. Nora? Sure, they've got her locked up. Now, go on. Right. Come on. Come on. 
I don't know. Don't go get him, you fool! I'm going to find my own spices! Pop, there's the crumpets right on the floor. <laughs> the winner, new champion. Is that wedding bells I hear? Hooray! Oh, honey, we won't be able to go on a honeymoon. I've got orders to report for duty immediately. Oh. So long, Dave. So long, Bill. I don't feel bad. We'll take you on your honeymoon. Come on, let's go. See you in Tokyo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we'll play on the first time.